Speaking of speedy, we saw him run one of the fastest miles ever, just off the world record, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. You know, he said yesterday he needed to hydrate, get some nutrition, see how the body feels today. He definitely went for it all yesterday, and he's picked himself back up to come back out here today in the 3,000. As we go down to the inside, Yamov Kajelcha, world indoor champion at this distance, twice over, 26 years of age. Broke the world indoor record in the mile a couple of years ago. Men's 3,000 getting underway. Look, Paul, Inga Britson right behind the pacemakers. Doesn't look like he's very tired from that near world record yesterday in the mile. He likes to just be in that slipstream, stay behind them, and ride that rail, especially on the backstretch here at Hayward. This is pretty incredible, Paul, and what a testament to the, the strength that Inga Britson has in his training to be able to come back today. Inga Britson bringing him down to the tower. 200 to go, and here goes Kajelcha. Kajelcha is trying to go, but Inga Britson is holding him wide. He will not let him take a step in. We're going to have a fantastic final 100 here. That's Salomon Borrego, who was the Olympic champion in Tokyo at 10,000 meters. But now it's a two-man race. Inga Britson and Kajelcha. Grant Fisher trying to get third as Inga Britson looks next to him. And the lean at the line. 7:23:64. It is a photo finish, as you can see there on the screen, as we await confirmation of the win. As Ingebrigtsen is the winner. 7:23:63. New meet record. New European record. New Diamond League record. And oh, by the way. A second Diamond League title for him this weekend. What a race. That was an awesome race, and what a finish. Both men fighting all the way through the line. I wasn't sure who had that. It was so, so close. Wow. That was a great, great race. You know, Paul, I keep saying it, but it's true. Distance running is so draining emotionally and physically. The training you put into it, usually late in the season, we're tired. The times aren't that fast. The competition is still good, but the times aren't that fast. So what we're seeing here is truly, truly special. So after this lap of victory, Jakob Ingebrigtsen turns his attention to the offseason. And big moment coming up next week as he goes back to Norway and gets married and that is what one hundredth of a second looks like as they cross the line the cameras do not lie the third fastest 3,000 of all time as we take a look here at this last fabulous finish on the xfinity 10g fly cam Jelta looked like he had timed it perfectly he moved out around the bend swung a little wide and you thought he was going to get there, but Ingebrigtsen saw him and just found a little bit more, both dipping at the tape. Like you said, we don't see that very often in distance racing, but they both really dipped there and went for it. Ingebrigtsen falling because he dipped so much, but it got him the win.